Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PSD. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today in this exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to color grade your video like a pro in Premiere Pro. When it comes to color grading, it defines the movie's quirky story just by looking at it. For example, such as the Matrix movie that have greenish theme to it and Mad Max that gives you the deserted theme all because of color grading. It is high time that you learn to color grade your own video and the honor to teach that to you will be mine. Let's take a look at our video of before and after of color grading. That looks super awesome, as you see that the before and after looks entirely different. This tutorial will have good insights and tricks about color grading in Premiere Pro, so be sure to check it. Before we begin please make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create a new project. I will name it as Color Grade. Click OK. Now if you look at the top over here, you can see that we are in a editing workspace. You can see that there are different types of workspace in Premiere that can be used for its purpose. Since we are going to color grade let's go to the color workspace. If you don't see the color workspace, you can always go to Windows, Workspace and choose Color. As you see our workspace is completely changed to suitable for color grading. Now let's import our stock video to our project panel. Drag the video to our sequence panel to create a new sequence based on our video settings. Here we have a beautiful video of lady enjoying the night rain and we have a lot of color presented in our video. We will make this video more beautiful than it already is by color grading and bringing the amazing lights and colors in this video. If we come over here there is a panel called scope. And it will be useful when you are editing for feature film or short films. But we don't need to worry about that for now. Then here we have our usual effects control panel. And if you look at our right side you can see that the lumetary color is active. As soon as we dropped our video onto our sequence panel, lumetary color is one of the most used and a super versatile color grading tool. It equipped with all the color grade tools necessary for a professional color grader. In this video I'm going to hammer the basics and mid-level techniques into your head that you will be proud of yourself at the end of this video that you learned this. Now let's begin. Lumetri color panel consists of six amazing color grading tools and each of its own power tools with it. We will begin with basic correction. Here we can change the video's basic color settings from boring to awesome. Here we have lit option. Lit is nothing but a color grade preset that you can apply to your video, without actually grade it with below tools. But we have to learn these below tools in order to become a professional in color grading. Here we have the temperature. We can use this tool to bring out that sunlight color in our video if we increase it. You can also reduce the temperature and give it a blue tone to our video. Since our video is shot at night and we don't need to increase it that much, I will leave it at 10. And let's go to tint. We can use tint to give our video magenta color or greenish color. Since we do have some beautiful magenta color in our video, so we will boost it a little by increasing it a little to 5. In the tone we have our exposure, we can increase the white on our video by using the exposure and you can also reduce the overexposed white on your video by decreasing it. Since our video is shot in night we don't have to use it. Contrast is nothing more than the brightness of colors, you can increase the colors brightness or decrease it as per your need. For this video we will increase it around 25. 
Highlights are like white color in the video, you can increase the whiteness or decrease it as you need. We will increase it by one since we don't want more white in our video. Shadows are used to increase or decrease the darkness in a video. This will help you bring the dark color such as shadows on a bright day in your video. We will decrease it to minus 26 to increase the darkness of our video. The white is opposite of shadows, you can use to increase or decrease the white tones in your video. We will increase the whiteness to 11 so we can see our colors more clearly. Black is used to again increase or decrease the black color in your video. Since our video is super black on some areas so we will decrease the black to minus 27. Saturation represents the overall color of the video. You can make it black and white if you decrease it or increase it to make it more vibrant. I suggest you that please don't overuse the saturation because it will make your video look unwatchable. So be humble with the saturation. We will increase it to 112. As you see just by using basic correction we can see that our video became really good. Now let's move to creative panel. In this panel as you see we have our default looks available for you to use but these looks will only works on few videos and we can't rely on it much. You can also increase the looks intensity if you want with this. By color grading each video to our own taste we will make it look super awesome without any looks and lots. You can use faded film tool to make your video color to have little Gaussian tone to it. We don't need that tone to our video. Sharpen is used to increase a video sharpness. If you increase it you can see that our video becomes super crispy and it looks so unnatural. Always be gentle with sharpness and don't overuse it. I will increase it to 8 and that will give us that enough crisp to our video. You can use vibrance to increase the intensity of each color in your video, and also decrease it to make it look like a wasted video. We will increase it to 21 and give a little bump in our colors intensity. Saturation is same as the previous one, you can use it to increase or decrease the overall color in our video. Here we have two tint circles, one is highlight and other is shadow. By using any colors in this circles we can increase or decrease that colors highlight and shadow. If I use the red orange color in our highlight tint circle. As you see red orange color in our videos is increased its intensity. You can also use the shadow tint to increase the color of tint shadows. We will use the same red orange you can see the difference between the highlight tint and the shadow tint. You can use the tint balance to increase or decrease the glowness of that specific color. We don't need this for now so press Ctrl Z to undo it. Let's move on to curves. Curves are one of the best tool widely used by many. Curves have RGB line, red, green and blue line. RGB line represents red, green and blue. This line have three different section. Top line is highlight, middle is midtone and bottom is shadow. If I drag this line upward or downward the overall highlight of the video changes. Once you satisfied with the highlight we will bring the midtone back to center to make our video look less bleached. You can use the shadow line to increase or decrease the overall darkness of the video. Now that looks super good. Let's go to red line. Red line represents red color in your video. The red lines have the same application as the RGB lines, but only changes the red color in our video. If I bring down the midtone of the red line, you can see that the intensity of the red color in our video is decreased. You can see the difference from before and after. The same goes to green and blue lines. Please feel free to play around with the curves. You will teach yourself something new each time. We will bring down the midtones of both green and blue slightly as we want. You can see that each time we pass through a color tool, our video keeps getting better and better. Let's move to the next tool. These are the hue, saturation and luma lines. 
as you see the hue versus saturation line indicates different colors, if I bring this line of a certain color upward you can see that it gets brighter. You can also increase the glow of certain color by making anchor point and rise it upward. Press Ctrl Z to undo it. Please try these Luma and Hue tools below, so you can learn what kind of effects it have on your video. Now move to color wheels. You can tell exactly what it is just by looking at it. It works same as curves but with more colors and be pro with midtones. Highlights and shadows. Let's select light blue color from midtones. As you see that the midtones of blue is increased in our video. You can use the slider to give it more intense or bring it down to make less intense than it normally is. If you don't want to increase or decrease the midtones of certain color you can always just use the slider to adjust the overall midtones. Same goes for highlight and shadows. Now comes the HSL secondary. I have made a video entirely about this tool since we can do lot of super awesome things with this tool. Please watch that video above, or you can visit that video link is in the description. I will explain it short and simple. You can use the HSL tool to manipulate the temperature, tint, contrast, shadows and saturation of a certain color. Take the color picker and click on a color that you want to manipulate. I will select the red. Since we have different theme of red colors present in our video, use the color add tool here and again select the different types of red color. Click on the color gray checkbox to see how much of the color is selected. After you selected the color you want, Come down here and use the 5 different sliders to increase or decrease that selected color. You can see the difference in temperature when I move the slider, and it only affects the selected color which is red. This will help you when you have a high contrast or saturation of a certain color that you want it to tone down. Please visit my other video about the HSL tool to completely understand about its power. Let's move on to the last and final tool in our Lumetri is Vignette. Most of us don't use Vignette since it's not needed. You can increase the Vignette amount to tone down the edges of your video. By using the roundness and feather you can bring down the heavy dark Vignette. We don't need for our video so press Ctrl Z to undo it. Now we finished color grading our video using these 6 most amazing tools in Lumetri. Let's see the before and after color grading of our video. Let's hide the Lumetri and see the before. That looks amazing. You can see that huge difference from before color grade and after color grade of our video. I will let you know once again that the Lumetri tool is one of the most powerful tool for color grade and you now know why. I hope you learned something about color grade from this video and I hope you like it. We finally at the end of our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any doubt please feel free to comment in the comment section. I will be more than happy to help. Please hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you like this video. Until our next tutorial stay happy. Thank you.